Hey, how's it going everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another sound design tutorial in Logic Pro X. Now in this video, I want to go ahead and show you a really cool effect. Uh, this is going to be really great if you were looking uh, to end a song and you just want to do it a little bit differently. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you, you write a song, you kind of have a fade out or you do something like that. Uh, this is going to be a really great trick for you to go ahead and use a gated a gated effect to kind of like make a remix type of thing on the way out of your song and you'll see exactly what I mean. Uh, a gated effect could be a really fun effect. It could be used for an intro or an outro and I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. Uh, so for this example I'm going to show you this loop and then we're going to have a little bit of fun with this gated effect. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that's the way it sounds uh, like right now. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our mixer and we're going to group these two together and then we're going to set up uh, some adjustments with our uh, flex, actually our flex slicing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all that started. And this flex slicing is basically what's going to give us this gated effect, uh, which sounds pretty cool. Okay, cool. So um, what you guys are going to need to do is uh, get to your mixer. I already had that out, so just you know, go ahead and hit that, and your mixer will pop up. Then you're going to want to go ahead and uh, uh, command click, so you select two of these, uh, uh, you know, two of your sounds. Usually, it's going to be like a rhythmic, you know, uh, synth line and a drum, uh, you know, so like a drum loop or something like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, and we're going to group them. And the way you group them is uh, right here in the mixer. You go ahead and create a group. So now they're uh, kind of grouped together and they're in group one. And a lot of times you want to make sure that the, uh, the all the settings are grouped together, including the editing. Uh, so a lot of times it's not actually instantiated. So you're going to want to make sure that it is selected. Okay, cool. And then you're going to click out of that. Awesome. Uh, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your uh, flex and select flex time slicing for both of them. As you can see, when I make a change on, you know, either one of these, uh, you know, parameters, basically, uh, the parameter for the other grouped uh, track will also be affected. So if I go rhythm, uh, rhythmic, both of them will change. In this case, I want to go ahead and do slicing. Awesome. So uh, all these little uh, flex, I guess, uh, points have appeared in our audio. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. So no major difference there, but where we're going to have a lot of fun is with our slice length. And um, we're going to make some adjustments. We're going to basically bring this down a bit in increments, and we're going to hear a lot of uh, different gated sounding sounds, which sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, if you could imagine, let's say this was at the end of your song, you can go ahead and uh, play that out and, you know, fade out from there. Or you could do a false ending, like it sounds like it's about to end and you bring it back up. And then you bring the slice length all the way back at the top. And then you bring down the volume again for the real ending. So it was a little sloppily done with that fade out, but uh, you basically get the idea. It's a lot of fun. Uh, again, so all you need to do is, uh, you know, have uh, one or more tracks. Actually, usually it's like two tracks that you link up together. Uh, you go to your mixer, you go to your group, uh, and you go ahead and uh, group them. You go to your uh, group settings, you make sure that all uh, the buttons that you want to include for uh, grouping these edits together are available. So, you you know, a lot of times it's just uh, the edit button that you need to select. And then from there, you can just have a little bit of fun with uh, the slice length and stuff like that. Or you can go ahead and have fun with different um, 
I guess, parameters within the flex pitch. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.